The holiday season is in full swing at Gaylord National Resort. The National Harbor Hotel has brought back its popular ice attraction that will surely transport you to feel like you're at the North Pole. But first, you gotta dress warmly, and if you're like me, you don't take that lightly. All right, Rachel, how cold is it in here? It's pretty cold. It's actually nine degrees, so you will definitely get shocked when you come inside, but we give you these nice blue parkas to try and keep you warm, and you yourself have bundled up quite a bit to get inside here today. I don't know if I look like the kid from the Christmas story or like Maggie Simpson, but I am warmer than I was last year, and that's because I came super prepared this year. And the attractions are so different from last year, so tell us what's unique. Yeah, so this year we have a brand new theme of Christmas around the world. It's an original show, so they created it specifically for us. We're very excited to be debuting it, and it's perfect for the holiday season. You're going to see such vibrant colors. It's the most colorful attraction we've ever had. And in the room we're standing in currently, you can see a lot of educational components. We have Mexico highlighted and their Christmas traditions, as well as Germany, the Netherlands, and so much more. Something I learned is that the kissing under the mistletoe is originated in England. So, didn't realize that we can still do that right here. I just gotta find somebody. <laughs> Something else that's educational here is that all of the artists, you can watch them carve and knowing where they came from just to do this, it's pretty neat. Yeah, so that's in our Frostbite factory where people will be able to come out and see them carving live, which is a really cool experience. Um, they did travel 6,000 miles from Harbin, China to get here to build everything you see. So we bring in about 2 million pounds of ice to create everything. So they come in block form, it's pre-colored and dyed from a factory in Ohio, and then they work with these three to 400 pound blocks to carve them into the sculptures. It's, it's phenomenal. How long does it take them to do this? It takes them about 30 days total to finish the entire attraction. Um, they're working 12 hour days. They come in mid-October and it takes them up until like right before we open um, in the beginning of, or middle of November. So it's an amazing process. And I mean, they're, they're working on some sculptures that are more than two stories tall. So it's, it's incredible to see everything. Are there any special attractions that everybody loves? I think one of the biggest highlights always is our ice slide room. Um, that's definitely one of the most fun areas that we have. So people can go down two-story ice slides. Uh, there's a kid one, so kids can enjoy it, but the adults also can. You can go as many times as you like, which is always a thrill. Um, but this attraction also is very interactive, more so than past ones. Um, in the North Pole, for example, we have these interactive components where you can sit in Santa's sleigh, which is made completely of ice. There's these elf vignettes where you can stick your head through some of the ice sculptures and the sculptures themselves are much more out in the open so you can get up close and get those great picture opportunities. Get interactive too, go through these tunnels, really neat. There's other things that you can do inside when you're done with this, right? Oh yes, yeah, we have plenty of things that people can come and enjoy to get warm after they go through ice. We have a new Christmas village area. So we have a teacup rides, a carousel, there's gingerbread decorating. We have Mrs. Claus this year for the first time. She'll read kids books with cookies and milk. So there's plenty of different fun activities within the resort as well. I gotta give a, get another ride on that slide. <laughs> 